The baseline is only a property of the word object. Like any other property, if you wish to change the baseline, select the object and change the option. If you wish to change the property of a single or a group of letters in the lettering object, select the font tool and carefully click on the vector line of the letter and drag across as many letters as you wish to change until you see a black background appear, then release the mouse. If it is the colour you wish to change, simply select the new colour from the working palette and hit enter to confirm. This may take a little practice and you may find it easier to select from the right side of the letter and drag back. So you can change any property, perhaps the font style and size. Traditionally, I think people have broken apart the lettering to achieve these changes. From my perspective, breaking the lettering apart loses one of the most valuable features of lettering, and that is the baseline. So now to the reshape tool. This is where the really interesting stuff happens. Notice when the reshape tool is engaged, several nodes appear along the baseline. In this case, a free line, there are only two nodes, one at each end of the baseline, which can be moved. Other baselines may have more nodes, for example, arcs and the any shape line. These can be moved, added, deleted, or changed from a left to a right click. Each letter also has a node. By left clicking on any letter node, notice it will change color to indicate it is selected. At the same time as the node is selected, hold the left mouse button down and hold the shift key. This will allow you to move the letter above and below the baseline. To keep the letter in the new position, you must release the mouse button before releasing the shift key. Now instead of the shift key, follow the same procedure but use the control key, and the letters can move anywhere but not past the ends of the baseline. The letters are still attached to the baseline, but at a different location in relation to the baseline. The other thing to note here is that if the font is digitized as closest point, which most are, then the closest point is applied even after the move. Now go through the previous shift and control steps, but this time instead of left clicking on the letter node, make a right click. This will select the letter and all the letters to the right. Notice, when you select a letter node by left clicking, five more icons appear around the letter. Top left will slant the letter. Top middle will allow you to drag the letter taller. Top right, alter the size of the letter proportionally. Middle right, make the letter wider. And the bottom right allows you to rotate the letter. Now an even deeper level of editing. Left click on the vector outline of any letter. If you find it difficult to identify, make sure true view is turned off, shortcut, the letter T, and that the lines are visible, shortcut, 
the letter L. Now left click on the line and you'll see the shape nodes will appear. Originally the letters were most likely created using the column A tool and you can reshape any letter in a similar fashion as you would a column A object. 